Hello Leo and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all well. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome and cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. Um, because this is a general reading, the roles can always be reversed, okay? So Leo, apply it to your situation, okay? So in light of, uh, you know, the month of October and Halloween is coming up, I am uh, using my Halloween deck, okay? So this is the first deck that I will be using, my favorite one, it's called um, Tarot of the Haunted House. So this one actually here is the full card, as you can see it's very different, isn't it? <laughs> She's taking a risky decision to leave the Haunted Castle. Um, so then I'll be clarifying here with the classic The Halloween Tarot um, by Kipling West, okay? So Leo, if you actually like these cards, um, once you know I start showing them on the camera, and you want to purchase your own deck, um, all the links are in the description box below, okay? So I don't get any commission or any percentage of sales. Um, I'm not, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not really linked at all to any, um, you know, external Amazon links and all that. Um, just sharing is caring, okay? So if you like it and you want to buy your own deck, that is all there below, okay? So let's get straight into your weekly love reading, okay? Um, Leah, I'll also be uploading later this month for you. Um, it will be a bonus financial and career reading, okay? So whether you're studying or you want to study, you want a career change, you want to focus on your money, um, start up a business, get promoted, I'm going to be covering all of that, okay? It's going to be a very full reading for you, okay? Um, and also... Uh, Leo, there will be an extended to this reading, completely optional, because I do get a lot of emails asking, well, am I missing out on anything, yeah, with the extended? And uh, the simple answer is no, because these readings, I always make them very full for you as well, okay? So the purpose of the extended is that I'm going to be focusing 100% on your person, okay? Um, thoughts, their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, their actions, because that's very important, okay? Um, outcome and advice for both of you is moving forward, okay? So basically, yes, we're, deep, we're diving a lot more deeper into your person, as if they're sitting right here, okay? Um, but I'm just focusing only on them, okay? And how do, how do they feel towards you? What is it they wanna do, their intentions, um, towards you and the connection, okay? Whether you are connecting or not, okay? So the link to that is in the description box below, but if you stick around to the end of this video, um, I'm actually going to show you what I'll be doing in your extended, okay? I usually use up to six different decks. It's a pretty full-on extended reading. Can go on for possibly sometimes more than 20 minutes, only because I just don't like rushing um, the reading, okay? So let's get straight into it, okay? For Leo, please, what's happening in your heart space? Who are you thinking about the most, yeah? Whether you're in connection with them or not, is there someone new? Let's see what's going on. So I just saw that Nine of Pentacles poke out. So Leo, a lot of these could be feeling like you are single right now, being independent, self-sufficient, focusing on your dream life, your studies, your career. Yeah, it's a kind of luxury as well. You maybe want to self-indulge in yourself. So why not, huh? Let's see. And the Nine of Pentacles is the minor arcana of the Empress. So whatever you're doing, Leo, on the side with your life, you're on the right path, so keep doing it. So at bottom of the deck here, Leo, we have the chariot, okay? As you can see, it's very different from the traditional tar um, tarot cards, okay? Um, you could be in a long distance um, relationship with your person. If not, you know, maybe you just feel that distance, you feel that void, you're kind of missing each other. What I love is that this is the fastest major arcana, okay? And they definitely want victory with you. They want triumph. A triumphant uh, connection, but not in an egotistical way. I, I'm the message that spirit keeps saying is that they want to win your heart back. Okay. Wow. But this is about victory. So, mm. oh, there you are. We got the sun card, Leo. Yeah, very clear message. Someone wants victory with you, and you make this person very, very happy. Okay. Wow. What I love about the sun card is that it's a very blessing card. It's also the return of health. Okay, so Leo, if your health has been wavering, if you know, oh, it's been up and down, um, this is the return of health, physical strength as well, okay? It, and, and mind you, if there's any challenging cards, it softens the effect of it and it blesses all these other cards. You know, I'm, I'm very inclined to say that whoever wants victory with you, you're going to welcome it and it's going to make you quite happy. I mean, this is just pure happiness, really. You make this person very happy. So what do we have here? We have the Four of Wands. Now, 
I don't read reversals, but when they somehow magically come um, reversed, I do have to acknowledge it. So the Four of Wands, okay, that's Aries energy. That is my soulmate twin flame card. It's also my marriage card as well. So they very well could have been maybe a broken marriage here, okay? Um, maybe, maybe both of you were married. Maybe you're divorced and separated. Or maybe your person is actually married and maybe they're getting divorced or separated, okay? But it is a celebration card. It is coming together. But I feel like something's preventing you from fully coming together. Now, we have that Four of Pentacles here. Now, all the Fours, we've already got two Fours. They're all about security, stability, you know, firm foundation, like something solid, like I'm touching this table, okay? Um, your person at the moment, yeah, I feel like both of these may have pulled back your energy, not really revealing your next move, what you're truly feeling, what you're truly thinking. So it could be very hard to read your person at the moment as well, or vice versa. But this is all about refusing to let go of someone. So very well, you know, maybe both of these are refusing to let go of each other, but I feel that's coming more from your person, to be honest. Okay, now we do have Aries energy with the Emperor. Okay. Um, there could be children involved if you are dealing with a masculine. This could also be you, Leo. Okay. But the king is all of the, uh, sorry, the, oh, no, 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 let me backtrack. The emperor is all the kings wrapped up into one. Okay. Now he's looking straight at you. He's going to take action. Okay. He's going to take action and he wants this to be, whoop. There we go, cards. These are very slippery. Um, they want this to be victorious. Okay. Wow. And the last one. The Nine of Cups, you are their wish fulfillment. That could also be emotionally attached to you, okay? Um, you could be definitely dealing here with the Pisces, but they are very emotionally attached to you, um, and you definitely are a dream come true for them, okay? So let me put all the cards down first. Wow, Six of Cups already. We've already got our Reconciliation card there, okay? Scorpio energy, followed by what? The Moon, Pisces, Cancer energy. What's a water sign, to be honest, already? Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Bit of hesitation. Do you want to reinvest in this? All right, let's continue. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. And what's the beating heart of the reading here? Okay. The Page of Wands. Wow, passionate messages coming your way. <laughs> I feel like your person wants to convince you by any means <laughs> to at least say, well, let's try this one more time. Now we do have the Ace of Swords, Three of Wands. Mm, this is far from over. Let me just put that camera back a little bit. There we go. I want to make sure you can see everything. Oh, now we have the King of Wands. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have the Ten of Swords. Right. Uh, now, funny enough, when I did Gemini's reading, the Ten of Swords was in exactly the same position. So if you are dealing with a uh, Gemini, probably check out, um, you know, if you want to be a cross watcher, probably check um, that out as well. So Six of Cups. For some of you, definitely, there could be children involved, okay? Um, but no doubt your person is very, very nostalgic, okay? Now, always remember that this can be flipped and it can be reversed, okay? But I'll be reading this now from their point of view. So they're feeling very nostalgic. They're thinking about the good old times when you just met your first date, the first kiss, or when you both said I love you, yeah, to each other. Soul connection, soulmate connection, as in past life connection, but most definitely this is them coming back. This is someone from your past coming back, okay? Um, they could be doing it quite sneaky here with the moon, okay? Um, but at the same time, I feel, Leo, that you were in the dark about a lot of things here. So when we start clarifying, we're going to get a lot more messages um, because so far this, for me, is not enough. It's too basic, all right? So we'll be clarifying there with the Halloween tarot. This is about lies. There is some form of deceit here. It could even be white lies, okay? But it is internal fears, internal anxieties about the present, about the future as well. Not everything is as it seems, Leo, okay? So you will be getting more information because you definitely got there the Ace of Swords. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is when we want to invest in something. Is the juice worth the squeeze? It's a very famous saying with that Seven of Pentacles, okay? But you're a little bit hesitant there. It's like, oh, really, do I want to invest in this? Do I want to revisit this again, okay? Um, do you want to plant the seed? Do you want to nourish this? Do you want to watch it grow? Because your person knows at the moment that whatever they did, okay, which is quite heavy, is that you've got your walls up, really up, okay? Your boundaries are very tight and you're super, super selective of who you let back into your life. And really, that's, that's if it's anyone, okay? Um, but this is also about not giving up. So your person is definitely not going to give up on you, okay? Now, the beating heart of the reading here, we do have the... Um, 
the Knight of Wands, okay? So most definitely we're seeing here that your person will be messaging you. Pages are all about messages, can indicate children as well, okay? Um, but we're getting passionate messages here. But at the same time, it's not just based on passion. They are providing you with truth and clarity. Now, yes, this looks like a very confronting image. And always remember it is, you know, um, the Halloween deck, okay? Um, but they do want to start brand new with you, okay? So that Ace of Swords is all about starting on a clean slate, not repeating the same mistakes from the past okay um, and having that clarity cutting away through all the BS the all the illusions the lies the delays and the challenges and just starting fresh okay so for some of you we do have the three of wands now very well it could have been anywhere three months even more than three months since the last time you've truly connected with your person but they are coming back okay uh, they are taking their sweet time this is about delays it is about waiting as well not because of you it's just i'm really feeling here I'm, I'm, and spirit keeps saying they they, they mucked up they they did they screwed up okay so now they're coming back but they're doing it very cautiously okay so we do have the um the king of wands okay so there is a lot of passion here between both of you okay what i love is that either the king or the queen um of wands is that not only are they passion, they have that lion heart and they're hard workers here, but they take action, okay, towards what? Because look what happened, okay? Now, some of you could have been very well married to this person, okay? Um, this is very sad. It's a sad card. For me, I, you know, I always think it's a sad card, also ruled by Gemini. Um, it is about loss, ending, separation, and divorce, okay? It feels like both of you have hit rock bottom, but the only place to go now is up, okay? So... They want victory with you. Where there is an ending, they want a beginning now. So let me start clarifying. Look at that. Ace of Bats is the Ace of Swords. Okay? Yeah, both of you. Especially you, um, Leah, because you really felt like you were in the dark about a lot of things here. You knew that nothing was as it seemed. Certain things didn't add up with your person. I'm just getting also shifty behavior. So we do have the Eight of Imps is the Eight of Wands. Okay? Fast moving communication here, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, all right. That means to stop shuffling. Let's see. I'll be putting two cards for each of the haunted house tarot. Let's see. What's going on? Let's get more messages. I'm interested to see um, clarifying that Ten of Swords, to be honest. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, look at that. So, Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, okay? Yeah. At the moment, your person's feeling quite defeated, quite deflated here, really not happy with the current circumstances. They know that you're apprehensive. Yeah, walls are so high up that they're wondering how on earth can they reach you. You may have blocked this person um, completely, all right? Removed them from social media, for example. Um, removed them from your contact list as well, okay? But they're not giving up, though. They know it's going to take a lot of work, though. So look at that. We have the Knight of Wands. Uh, sorry, this is the Knight of Swords. Knight of Bats is the Knight of Swords. The fastest moving knight. You also got with the Chariot, the fastest major, okay? So, yeah, they're not giving up. They actually could be reaching out to you quite impulsively. Like, I need to say this to Gemini. I need to... No, I said Gemini. My apologies, because I'm looking at that. That's Gemini. I need to talk to Leo. So my apologies if I say a different star sign. Um, I do a bunch of readings every day. Leo, okay? That's just Gemini. Um, and that could also be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it's almost like saying, I need to talk to Leo. I need to purge. There is something I need to say, okay? Where, ooh, what are they going to say to you? The Nine of Swords, more Gemini energy. How much they regret their actions, okay? They're going through the dark night of the soul, really facing their inner demons here, okay? Um, they could be punishing themselves mentally as well. Wow. There is a, a lot of nervous energy, a lot of scared energy as well, fe uh, you know, fearing rejection. But it's not going to stop them because look at that. The Ace of Bats is the Ace of Swords. You got that twice now. Okay. So they do want clarity. I feel like both of you want clarity here because everything's still up in the air and a lot of things still don't make sense about why this ended. Okay. More Gemini energy. So we have the lovers. Okay. Soulmate energy here. Okay, so it is on top of the Six of Cups, doubling that message that this is a soulmate connection. You've known each other in past lives. Okay, the feelings and the love here is mutual. But we know that the love is, is about a choice. And at the moment, you're like, oh, oh, I really don't know what to do. What else? The world. Okay, so you are in this card, Leo. Fixed signs that you could be dealing with is another Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus. Okay, so something has come to an end. This cycle which I'm going to say the worst is behind you as well, but where there is an ending, there is a beginning, okay? 
They want to start over again. That's what they want. Okay. We've got now the three of pumpkins. Okay. Now I'm getting a message here, which is kind of, I never really get this with this combination. Um, now, yes, you could have met your person through work. Okay. If you didn't, maybe your person was tempted with someone at work. Okay. Now that is for like 0.1% of you, but they do with that Capricorn energy. They want to work with you, collaborate with you, be part of your team. Okay. You know, listen to understand, not listen to react. Okay. Working as a team temperance. Okay. Sagittarius energy. So their desire here now, and they know that they're going to have to be very patient here with you. Okay. Um, cause you're not just going to jump in. Okay. Do not get a line upset. I always say this to people, you know, it's like when they say, you know, if you poke the bear, they're going to get upset, but really the king of the jungle is Leo. Okay. Um, the lion. So they need to be patient with you and take their time, but they do want to have this reunion and replace it, um, with peace, balance, and harmony here. Okay. So yeah, that's going to be a shocking tower moment for you. We've got the Scorpio energy with the tower. Why is that there? We've got the six of pumpkins. So most definitely here, they may have actually just upped and they left. Okay. They couldn't have ghosted you, blocked you, just gave you a really lame excuse why they couldn't be with you. Maybe there was a third party. Okay. With that three of pentacles as well. Maybe there was. Okay. And we've also got the moon, which can indicate maybe a clandestine love affair, like a secret love affair. That's not for all of you. Okay. They do want to provide equal give and take here. So you went through that tower moment, but there's another tower moment coming and do not fear it because I feel like their return is going to be a shocking surprise. Like you're just not going to see it happening. And that six of um, pentacles or six of pumpkins is about peace, balance, harmony, you know, equal give and take here. Okay. They could also be financially responsible here if they were married, um, maybe spousal support or childcare support, lawyers and all that. So that's something they need to really, um, they need to work that on their own as well. Okay. Eight of um, pentacles, eight of pumpkins. Again, showing me that you may have met through work or studies, employment, but this is them wanting to prove themselves to you. Okay. And they'd be happy to do it. If you see the grin here on this, um, it kind of looks like an onion, honestly, <laughs> his head, but um, they're prepared to actually not give up with that nine of wands, but to really put in the work and prove themselves that I'm worth a second chance. Please cross my fingers that Leah will actually give me another chance. Okay. We've got the queen of bats. Okay. The queen of swords. The sword is pointing up in this deck. So there's a lot of communication coming in. Um, very well, they could also trying to very hard to release themselves here um, from this person. The queen of swords can represent someone separated and divorced. Um, they can appear a little bit cold hearted here as well. Okay. But um, yeah, I'm kind of feeling... I'm like, if these actually did get together, that this person will not be happy, but your person's going to work extra hard to overcome these challenges as well. Okay. So with the message of the page of wands, what is it they want to express to you? Now we have the ace of cups, ace of ghosts, the true card of love. Your person loves you. They never stopped loving you. That's the thing. They just made poor choices. Can you forgive them? That's a different thing. As you can see the hesitation there on that um, person's face. Okay. Justice, Libra energy. That's also my apology card. Okay. Writing what was wrong, balancing the scales again, you know, these two like justice and the six of pentacles go hand in hand. They could again be dealing with some legalities here. Okay. Again, spirit just said to be patient with them as well there. So clarifying the ace of swords. What is it that they want a brand new beginning with you? What is it? They want to move into karma waters with you. Okay. So that is the six of swords. Okay. Aquarius energy. Someone is relocating here, possibly changing houses as well. Okay. Maybe Leah, you're thinking about that as well. Moving into karma waters. Okay. Aquarius energy again with the star card. This is the card of destiny and a wish being fulfilled. So in other words, Leo, if you said, okay, you know what, let's try this again. Okay. Let's take it slow. You would basically, honestly, grant all their wishes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So let me just, sorry, I'm just going to lose my voice one second. I actually have a weak voice. I have, sometimes I get laryngitis, so that's not good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so this is a win-win for all of you, okay? Both of you are trying to be positive. You're both trying to be healing, trying to keep a strong front here. But a wish here will be granted for both of you. I absolutely love that energy. It's also a good um, card for health as well, okay? So the three of wands, they're coming back to say what? Well, four of pentacles, four of pumpkins. I can't let you go after a period of time here of not talking, Okay? I feel like this conflict may have started for some of you at least up to or within four years ago. Okay. The King of Pumpkins. Okay. 
uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you were either married to this person or they were actually married as well. So the element of commitment and marriage is very strong here, okay? Now we've got the King of Wands. What about them? We've got the Page of Imps. Page of Wands, we've got the Page of Wands here. So not only are they taking action towards you, um, it is filled with passion and love. They know it's, it cannot just be based on intimacy. Um, but there's, there's messages here that they hope that's going to get you excited, you know, hopeful for the future, okay? There's your energy, okay? The strength card. So you'll be on the receiving end of these messages and it very well may be reciprocated, okay? Let's talk about this ending of the Ten of Swords. What happened? There was a third party. That's what happened, okay? Libra energy. They literally broke your heart. So if they chose someone else, well, is it too late, Leo? How does that make you feel? You have to be really honest with yourself. If they came back, how does it make you feel? What else do we have? Five of bats, look at that, yeah. Both of you know this. Your person was very selfish. They thought only about themselves, empty victory here. But to win you back though, Leo, this is the thing. They're gonna have to backtrack all the way from the start. All right, first base, ground zero, okay? Um, and start all over again with you, okay? The question is, do you really trust your person? Can you trust them again? Are you willing to at least hear them out for closure? Okay, I want to know if they've changed. So what I'm going to do, Leo, I'm going to pause this video. <clears throat> and when I resume, um, you're going to see six different decks. And the whole point of that is, like I said, I want to find out everything about your person, especially their intentions, because they're definitely coming back. I can see that. Okay, um, so just bear with me. I'll pause this video and you will see something else now. One second. All right, Leo, welcome back. So as you can see, there are a lot of decks to get through, okay? Um, we have six, six different decks. And just to reiterate what I was saying, I'm gonna be focusing 100% on your person, only on your person, okay? Um, their true thoughts, feelings, their intentions towards you. Hmm? Actions, very important, I always preach about that. Outcome here for both of you, and also advice for both of you moving forward, okay? Um, so. I know it's a lot of cards, there's a lot to get through, um, but it's my pleasure doing this for you. So um, the link is below and I'll see you over at the other side, okay? Um, but yeah, so I'll be using um, the tarot cards first and I will be clarifying. Um, so we're going to do a lot more deeper here. Amira's um, Love Oracle cards. Sometimes we get characteristics also about your person. Um, we also have the Romance Angel cards here, okay? They're yes and no cards and sometimes we do get timing as well. My favorite deck here, um, Leo, is basically whatever your person wishes to express to you if they were not afraid. No bars hold, they were not afraid of judgment or anything like that. You know, what's whispering in their heart? What is it they want to say to you, yeah? We're going to find out here. That's my favorite deck. So I'll see you on the other side, but this is where we depart, Leo. Um, I wish you the very best, especially if you resonated with this, okay? Love, light, healing, all of that. I want that to be yours, okay? Um, and yes, if you did resonate, hit that like button because this very well may reach another Leo um, person um, that may need to hear this message if they're on the fence with this person as well, okay? So I'll see you in the, uh, the next couple of days, uh, Leo, but please take care of yourself and those that you love, okay? Bye.